What's going on guys, it's the Indoor Hunter and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. If that music gave you goosebumps and some hardcore nostalgia, you're likely over the age of 30 and games like Fortnite piss you off. If you haven't heard that iconic music, you're in for a treat. So the hair raising soundtrack is the main theme for Medal of Honor Allied Assault. For those of you who don't know, Medal of Honor was a franchise that propelled World War II into the first person shooter realm and is the father of pretty much all World War II shooters uh, of that era, from 2000 to about 2008. The original Medal of Honor was released on PlayStation in 1999. It was a critical success. Um, it won several rewards. It was insane. Once again, it proved that console shooters can be successful. At that time... There was a huge shadow of doubt cast that, I don't know, maybe consoles just weren't meant for shooters. But games like GoldenEye, Medal of Honor, and even later on Doom kind of proved that to be wrong. I don't want to get too nitty gritty on all the details on Medal of Honor and its history and such. Uh, there's far better videos on YouTube about this. However, after discovering Medal of Honor was on Game Pass with EA Access on the PC... I was like, oh man, that's that's awesome. Let's download and see what's going on. How well can this 21-year-old shooter hold up? Yeah, it's 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 that old, guys. So if you remember playing it, you're old now. Um, Metal of Honor came to be because of none other than Steven Spielberg. Yeah, the director. And I guess you could consider Goldeneye, too. So Steven Spielberg was fresh from shooting Save Private Ryan... And he noted how much his son and his son's friends and even some of the people he knew were actually playing Goldeneye. And he thought, you know, it'd be really interesting to bring into the video game world a setting like Saving Private Ryan. And so, long story short, boom, he writes the story for the first three Medal of Honor video games, creating a historic franchise propelling video games into a direction that I don't think anyone really quite understands. I mean, yeah, you've got Goldeneye, you've got Doom, but if it wasn't for Medal of Honor, we probably wouldn't have franchises like Call of Duty or Battlefield today because they are a direct causation of Medal of Honor. You know, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. A lot of games you go back and play and they're a lot clunkier than you remember. They're a lot different. Um, maybe not as fun. Not Medal of Honor. I was I was shocked because I was in, instantly immersed in the game. Uh, the second I started playing it. Yes, the graphics are a little dated. But just the way the game plays and feels. It's very gritty. It's challenging. It was a lot of actual fun to play. And I think there's a big difference today. Um, I, I think game developers confuse exciting with fun. Games can be exciting, but they're not exactly fun. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, Call of Duty has a lot of exciting moments in it. You know, it's like a blockbuster 80s action film half the time. But sometimes it's not fun. Whereas... Medal of Honor, I feel like, is truly fun. And again, I'm not trying to sell... I'm not a Medal of Honor salesman here. This game, this is a dead franchise, unfortunately. But it it shows how and why it was the grandfather of what came to be, you know, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Brothers in Arms. That's a spoiler for later. Um, just playing the game, it's just truly fun to play. Uh, the encounters in the game, you know, they're not like what a, a modern shooter, you know, a lot of modern shooters, it's, you know, bang, bang, shoot the bad guys, they're running around, you know. But this game, these guys are smart. Like, the, the even for today's standards, 21 years ago, they were making AI that was pretty, pretty smart. Um, I've had a couple instances where you'd come around a corner and there's a guy, like, purposely corner camping um i've been stuck on a few levels where 
guys will actually hold a corner by blind firing their MP40s around it. I can't hit them, but they're hitting me, and it's like, okay, this is impressive because you got to think, not even a lot of modern video games do things like that with their AI. Um, you know, something else that, that I get a kick out of because it's definitely Medal of Honor. Nobody else does this, but whenever you'll see guys drop shot you, they'll get, get around crawling around. Um, and something else that I really enjoyed and I like looking at, you got to think, this game came from a time period before there was stop motion capture or any any sort of technology, green screens, any of that. Um, so computer animators actually had to go through and animate the characters within the game. Somebody wasn't wearing a bodysuit and doing that for them. And for some reason, again, this is just my personal opinion, but it almost feels more authentic because a lot of games nowadays just use... Uh, ragdoll effects, ragdoll physics, and so, well, I guess in some aspects it's a little more realistic, but um, whenever you shoot a guy, it's it's really immersive when you see him, you know, grab his chest and slowly fall to his knees and dramatically fall down. It, it's just, it's fun. It adds a lot of fun to it. Something else that really just draws me into this game is the challenge behind it. It's an older game, which means it's much more difficult. There's no hand holding mechanics whatsoever. There's no waypoints. There's no, uh, you know, this is exactly how you do this. The easy mode isn't, it's just not as hard as the hard mode. You know, it's not like a cakewalk because I've had some moments in the game where I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. This is what games used to be like. This were just really difficult. But uh, the game also has a lot of other stuff going for it. I mean, the just like, for example, D-Day. First off, Medal of Honor was the first to do it. Sorry, Call of Duty, you tried. And, I, you know, I'm not lying here. I'm not biased at all. I honestly think while... The new Call of Duty World War II, its D-Day scene was graphic and intense. Not as good as this one's. I, I gotta be honest, I think Medal of Honor Allied Assault has the best, today still, the best D-Day invasion. Clear the ramp! 30 seconds! Alright men, move fast, spread out, and stay clear of open beach. Portside, you're with Pal. Starboard, you're with me. Head for cover and get to the shingle. I'll see you on the beach.
but it just it it feels like it. Um, probably because they basically rip. Well, again, they they can't. Steven Spielberg can't really rip himself off. I mean, he basically put the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan in the video game, and you kind of can't beat that. You know what I mean? I mean, that's kind of the be all end all for for D Day scenes. Period. So uh, that was an intense moment. That and that was a very hard mission too. There, it, it's unforgiving, and that's what I like about it. Not a lot of games just do that today. You know, um, I keep harping on that, but that's kind of like. Show me a game that does that, that just challenges you. And I'm not talking like Dark Soul styles. It's just punishing just to be punishing. Um, a, a fun challenge. We're missing that in the video game world today, I think. Uh, the, the music is enthralling. If you're a World War II nerd like I am, it it is World War II like that. Any sort of documentary or, or movie like Band of Brothers or anything like that, like it just feels that that atmosphere it adds to it so much. Um, you know, a lot of games, modern shooters now just have some sort of action music playing. You know, that does nothing really to actually engross you in the setting like Medal of Honor does. Um, again, at the time, the game had award-winning sound effects, and they still hold up. They're very good. Bullets flying by, it sounds like bullets are flying by you. Um, these guys went out and actually recorded real firearms uh, for their own, which at the time, a lot of people weren't doing that. They were still making their own uh, sound effects. And I'll be honest here, that was my biggest gripe with uh, Call of Duty World War II, the new one. Uh, I was pretty offended because the, the sound effects in that game were absolute garbage. I call the game the M1 Garand in the game actually the drawer shutter because that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like a desk drawer just shutting repeatedly. I'm like, guys, did you even try? Anyway, that's that's a whole different discussion. But uh, going back to just what this franchise did for video games, um, you know, I already talked about it earlier, but you know, this this is kind of like the the confirmation that first-person shooters do, in fact, work on consoles. And so, shortly after Medal of Honor releases, we get a little game called Halo. Now, some say that, you know, Halo copied Goldeneye, which, let's face it, most games copy Goldeneye, but I digress. Anyway, it, it paved the way. And there's a lot of settings and... In, 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 the way games operate today from Medal of Honor. And I think that's pretty awesome. And it, and it's sad because Medal of Honor is a franchise that was a victim of its own success, I think. Um, it couldn't really see the writing on the walls. At the time, I think from like 1995 to about the year 2005, Maybe 2008 was kind of the golden era of video games, in my opinion. And by that, I mean, I feel like games were made out of passion at the time. These were like art. These really were art forms. Whereas now games are really kind of made just to make money. Um, they, they make them just okay enough to get you by until you want to buy the next one next year, you know. Whereas back then these games had to be fun because they didn't, you know, they didn't plan on making sequels really. Um, you know, EA at the time was actually making uh, Madden and all this stuff. That was super successful, but this was really that period of let's, how do you play, make someone play a game repeatedly over, over, over and over and over and over again. And, and then they just captured that. It was just, it's just fun to play. You can go back and replay Mission. It's fun every time. I don't know why. It just is. Whereas modern games, you play the campaign once. And you're like, alright, that was cool. Next. Um, you know, the... Just, again, I, I can't keep harping on how great this franchise was. Kind of going back to the, the victim of their own success... I don't, I don't think they ever 
once they realized where video games were going, it was too late for them. And they just couldn't compete at that point they were at. Part of that, in my opinion, is EA's doing too. Um, EA is known as a franchise killer anyway. I mean, a lot of guys that signed to them end up, you know, getting Dunskies. Which is unfortunate, but that is kind of what happened. Um, That being said, a lot of the guys that helped make Medal of Honor ended up going on to make Battlefield. Um, So, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. I just, I do kind of wish they'd bring it back, and I honestly think they could do World War II again. I think they shouldn't try to market it as a COD. I think that's what a lot of games are trying to do now is the quote unquote COD killer or the next great thing. Let's just make a good game that's fun to play. You know, uh, a lot of guys aren't making games to just have fun with. Uh, I think that's where a lot of. PC games excel versus like console games or at least AAA titles where, you know, you've got smaller indie developers making games that are like Medal of Honor, uh, you know, like look at Hell at Loose or Squad or Escape from Tarkov. If you were to put it in a AAA format and throw it out there in the grand scheme of saying things to like investors and stuff, they're oh yeah, it's not successful because, you know, it's, it's not making trillions of dollars, but that's not the most important part is, is it fun, you know, let's bring fun back to video games, guys, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to be done, I'm done ranting, guys, if you like this kind of thing, uh, this podcast style kind of discussion on video games, let me know in the comments below, uh, I definitely plan on making another one of these for my next favorite franchises during World War II, and that's the Brother, uh, ugh, excuse me, the Brothers in Arms series. Um, that is another one that's near and dear to my heart. Or any other like specific Medal of Honor games. Let me know. Uh, but till then, it's the Indoor Hunter. And I'll see you guys in the next one.